A nail salon nightmare, a visit to a Metro Atlanta business turns into an emergency room trip. And tonight, a new CBS 46 investigation uncovers hundreds of complaints against Georgia salons. But there are only a dozen inspectors who are responsible for overseeing all of them. Investigator Rachel Polanski explains how you can take matters into your own hands and protect yourself. After an Atlanta woman says she got an infection here, I went to the people who oversee salons for the state, and they told me that it's you that need to be your own advocate. That means asking questions and not just blindly trusting those with a storefront. Because it makes me feel good, it's feminine. Constance Zalea had been looking forward to a day of pampering. It was something that I wanted to treat myself with for Mother's Day, that was a gift to myself. And at first, she was happy with the manicure she got from Nail Talk on Piedmont Road. I know it is. But the next day, her middle finger began to throb. I had a sharp pain that just wouldn't go away. My fingers swell up to an abnormal size, and that's when I realized that something wasn't right. So she went back to the salon, where she says she was told she had not received the manicure there, even though she had a receipt. I took the nail off myself, and um, then I just left the salon that day. The pain was still persisting. It didn't change. So then I went to the emergency room. I saw the doctor and I had to get it drained. Bad experiences at salons are not uncommon. There have been more than 600 complaints filed statewide with the Georgia Board of Cosmetology and Barbers so far this year. And 2,000 complaints were filed in 2021. Of course, that number includes any type of cosmetology complaint not just those at nail salons. Sometimes we wind up having to um, go to court on it. Kay Kendrick heads the State Cosmetology Board. She also runs a hair salon, and she's not surprised by the number of complaints because in the state of Georgia, there are only 12 inspectors responsible for making sure that thousands of salons are following the rules. It's limited on how fast they can get to every shop and inspect every shop. So sometimes complaints fall by the wayside. And if somebody doesn't tell us that before an inspector can get to that area, we might not necessarily know until there is a problem. That's why Kendrick says it's up to you to be your own advocate. And you can do that by only visiting salons with licensed technicians who follow state sanitation protocol. Things like files, things like the drill bits that they used around the cuticle, uh, all of those things that are supposed to be disposable after one use, and sometimes they will use them over and over again. So how do you know if your salon is licensed? Well, cosmetology licenses are supposed to be displayed prominently when you walk into the salon. I stopped by Nail Talk, where Constance believes her finger was infected. Hello. Hello. Is the owner or manager here? I don't really know. No, so what, what's wrong with you? Uh, we're with CBS 46. Oh, the owner and the manager both on vacation. Cosmetology licenses were not displayed. Are they posted anywhere? And only one technician would show me her license. They're supposed to be posted somewhere. Everybody who's working should have a license and it should be posted in, in a public area. I also pulled 10 years worth of inspection reports from Nail Talk and found a number of violations, including operating with unlicensed persons and failure to comply with disinfection standards. When I asked about that, okay. all right, thank you. Awesome. I was told to leave. That's just the skin uh, so. that builds up here, but yeah, the nose itself is not there anymore. As for Constance, she's hired an attorney. Right now they're working with the salon's insurance company, but say they're prepared to file a lawsuit if they cannot reach an agreement. I don't want anyone else to go through this, and also I want them to be held accountable. Now, if you want to file a complaint against a salon, make sure you do it with the State Cosmetology Board. Even though there are only 12 inspectors, oftentimes when someone files a complaint, that will trigger the inspection. You can also look into a salon before you visit by going to the Secretary of State's website. I'll show you exactly how to do that at CBS46.com. Rachel Polanski. CBS 46 News. Let's